Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in Galatians. We're in Galatians chapter 5, and we've seen that Paul is encouraging believers to live in freedom. He says, Christ has set us free, so live in that freedom. And he wants to continue that as he moves through chapter 5, and he's answering an objection of the false teachers. Now, one of the things the false teachers would say is, well, if you believe Paul... And if you say you're free to live not by the law, but by faith, that gives you an excuse for sinning. You can just live any old way you please because you live in my faith. So they accuse Paul of allowing people to live in a very sinful lifestyle and to excuse it because they're free. Paul answers that objection by saying, you do not understand what true freedom really is. So let's hear what Paul has to say. We're in chapter 5, about verse 13. You, my brothers, Paul says, you were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But if you keep on biting and devouring one another, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Now we can see from the way Paul states this that he is answering an accusation these false teachers have made. They have said if you say you live in freedom, then you're giving yourself an excuse to live any old way you please, to live in a fleshly way. Paul says this is not the case. He said freedom is not an excuse for sinful living. Don't use your freedom as though it gives you a, a liberty to indulge the flesh. He says, no, when you come to be free in Christ, you are free to live the life he called you to live. When you become free in Christ, you are free to love each other. You are free to care for each other. And as long as you love each other, you'll not harm each other. As long as you love each other, you'll not do harm or hurt to each other. That's why the law can be summed up, Paul says, as Jesus said, in love. Remember, Jesus said the greatest law is Love the Lord your God with all your heart. And the second, love your neighbor as yourself. Paul sort of just uses the second one here to sum up what he's saying. When you really love each other, you won't harm each other. You won't commit sins against each other. And freedom in Christ is not freedom to sin. Freedom to just do whatever you please. No, no, no. Freedom in Christ is freedom to love your neighbor. Freedom to love each other. When you come to know Christ, he washes your sin away. He sets you free to be all that you're meant to be. That is, he sets you free to love. The Paul goes on to say, where does this power of love come from? Verse 16. So I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. In other words, the life of freedom in Christ is a life empowered by, by the Holy Spirit. You see, when you're trying to live by the flesh, trying to live by the law, you're trying in your own power to do what is right, and you always fell short. You couldn't keep the law perfectly. But finally, in Christ, you're, you're set free from that vain attempt to save yourself. Now in Christ, by faith, he has forgiven your sins, he has set you free, and he has filled you with the Holy Spirit. And now by the power of the Holy Spirit living through you, you're enabled to live that righteous and holy lifestyle. In the flesh before, you were trying to do it in your own strength and you always fell short. Now the Spirit enables you to do what you could not do on your own. The Holy Spirit empowers you to live a life of holiness and a life of righteousness. The Holy Spirit empowers you to live a life of love. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you can love God with all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your strength. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you can love your neighbor as yourself. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, you do not give in to the desires of the flesh. You, you do not give in to the desires of sin that used to enslave you and hold you. Now you're free. See, the wonderful thing about freedom in Christ, it is the freedom of the Holy Spirit. So Paul says we're called to be free. That means we are enabled to live by the Spirit. And the Spirit enables us not to gratify the desires of the flesh. 
So, the life of freedom, the life of faith, is a life in the fullness and in the power of the Holy Spirit. It is living by and through the Holy Spirit. It is being filled with the Holy Spirit. So Paul says, live by the Spirit. This is how you live in your freedom. And in this freedom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will not indulge the desires of the flesh. Instead, you are free of them. You are free from them. Amen and amen. Now, in the next session, Paul goes into a little more detail about what the life of the Spirit looks like in contrast to the life of the flesh. But we'll look at that in our next session. You have a great day today, and I'll see you next time for our five-minute Bible study in the book of the Galatians.